Welcome to UniArch Learning Hub. In this episode, we're going to talk about UniArch Client. We will demonstrate how to use this software, including its homepage and its main functions. Let's get started. Now we're on the homepage. It consists of a control panel and functional buttons. This is the control panel, including common area, basic area, and smart area. We click an icon to access the corresponding module. We can also customize the control panel by dragging the icons among common, basic, and smart area. In the top right corner are a few buttons. This is a shortcut menu to access these modules. The second one allows you to change the appearance of the software, here we provide you light and dark theme. Click this button to switch to another account. We will lock the GUI quickly when clicking this icon. We have to enter the password again to log in. For the first time login, you can follow the wizard to complete the configuration. The user manual is also available here for your reference. You can also check other information, such as version information. In the bottom left corner, we can see real-time alarms, turn on or off alarm sound, and enable or disable alarm triggered live video. Here we will see alarm triggered videos in real time. This icon is to download recordings in batches. We can download videos by time or by file after searching with specified search criteria. The last one is to view and manage downloading tasks. This is the common area, we can put commonly used functions here, now we will briefly introduce these functions one by one. Device management can help you do unified management. Devices that we can manage include encoding devices, decoding devices, cloud devices, access control devices, and network keyboards, and a maximum of 512 local and cloud channels can be connected. The next one is Live View. You can see the live view with mainstream, substream, or third stream. And it can support three auxiliary monitors with 64 split views for each. It also supports PTZ control for PTZ cameras. Playback allows us to filter the recording, also the recordings can be played at various speeds. Besides, we have alarm configuration, which supports camera alarm and device alarm, also you can set trigger actions to remind you when an alarm is reported. Audio function can achieve two-way audio and broadcast. Then we can set a recording schedule be a recording schedule function as you need. With system configuration, we can make settings such as log operation and system maintenance. That's all for today's learning, hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching see you next time.